welcome to the Third Eye Challenge video podcast. It's time to open your eye and look within with psychic divas Laura Lynn and Clara Jo. And welcome to the Third Eye Challenge. I am Clara Jo. Unfortunately, tonight we're not going to have Laura. She has a family matter to attend to. So I'm going to uh, be leading you by myself today. And we're just going to keep Laura in our prayers. And uh, hello, everyone. Um, okay, so first of all, let's say hi to everyone. There's Karen. If if I don't uh, say hi, please let me know. Um, let me know where you're from. Um, say hello, because otherwise I don't know you're there. I see people, but I don't know you're there. Today, we are actually talking about mind, body, and soul connection. What a great topic for today, right? Because we're talking about the third eye challenge is all about mind, body, and soul connection. If you think about it, because we're talking about, when we talk about the third eye, we're talking about right up here. We're talking about the third eye chakra, right? And if you are a holistic person, you understand that there's a lot that's involved with your mind, body, and soul when you're talking about your third eye. And you're talking about how it all interrelates with everyone else. We've got another person. Hey, Mindy. How? Welcome, welcome. So glad you're here. Okay, so um, we're going to just dive right in and um, stick around because I'll be doing some readings and some pendulums and we'll still have that at the end as well. And maybe some energy healing too, if you need it. All right. So when we're talking about the mind, body, soul connection, we're actually talking about the whole system, the energy system, the vibration that I'm always talking about. This subject is close to my heart because we're dealing with energy. Everything is connected. We're connected to the universe. Our mind, our body, and our soul is all connected. They all go together. So what when um, doctors, they, um, a lot of times when you, when you go through doctor, uh, go into being a doctor, we find out that a lot of times they kind of separate the mind from the body. Okay. They're correcting either the mind, you either go into the, the study of the mind or you're going to the study of the body instead of all together. Now, a lot of medical associations and um, doctors, physicians are starting to realize there's a lot more and it's all connected. They, they understand about the spirit. They under, understand about energy healing. They're starting to understand what light workers like myself have already known. This connection is very real and it can help heal. It can help your mind help heal your mind, can heal your body, and it can heal your soul. Now, light workers understand that the connection is real. And here's the information that I wanted to let you know. It's pretty, pretty profound. Okay, so um, when you have your, you know, if you're if your mind, if you're not feeling well, um, or if you're stressed, your mind plays a big part on how your body reacts, right? Um, when you're stressed, your whole body, you feel it in every part of your bones. You are exhausted. You can't think straight. Um, you physically are ill. And your stress from the outside world with all of that vibration can affect you in a very negative way. Well, energy workers understand that by removing not just the stress, but the core of the stress, the thing that made the stress occur or alleviating the problem will actually help to fix that body problem. So a lot of times you might have an ache in your back 
or um, your neck hurts or something else that is help that is hurting you. And when you actually go and find, um, start talking with the person, you find out that there's a lot of other things that are going on in their life. Stress is one of them, could be other factors, um, family. Um, they might be worried about their health issues, which then causes them to feel worse, right? Because the mind plays a big part in how we think. So going to the problem, going to the source and finding out what's going on there and then healing that part will then heal the body. It heals the mind as well, right? Because it all works together. So when we talk about soul and spirit, and the reason why a lot of people, they go mind, body, spirit. Well, the reason why we decided to do mind, body, and soul is because there's an actual difference between soul and body. Sometimes it's very hard to connect or to differentiate between the two. But here's, this is what I think about it. So the soul is who we are. They're the body, the, the part of the body. So when we pass or when we die, the soul then leaves our body and goes on to do other things. Okay. Now the spirit is actually the connection to the creator, the Godhead, the universe, the energy. So that's kind of how I differentiate between the two. So I wanted to make sure that when I was writing and putting this together, that we're actually talking about the mind, body, and soul connection, because three separate parts are actually equal and together. Does that make sense? <laughs> Whereas when we sit and meditate, we're taking our soul, our body, and our mind, and we're connecting to the spirit, to the creator. So, oh, I see Larry. Hello, Larry. Thank you for stopping by today. So we're all talking about the mind, body, soul, and connection. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments here and we'll be happy to help you. Um, if you're just tuning in, just to let you know, Laura is not going to be with us this evening. Unfortunately, she has some family matters to take care of and we will have her back next week week. So just keep her in her, in your prayers. Okay. So from a holistic standpoint, when we meditate, we're bringing all those to all those elements of the mind, body, and soul together. I think meditation is one of the most helpful things that we can do on a regular basis. It should be something that we practice, practice every day if you can, even for a small period of time, because it is a connection with the whole, our, our self as a whole, the universe as a whole. So when we go into an, a deep meditation, we're actually using first our mind. So what we're going to do is we actually sit back and we, um, people say clear their minds, but really what you're doing is you're having a clear intention and you're focusing. So you're focusing your intention of what you want in your mind. Now we try to create or we try to um, develop a scene or a scenario um, that we can concentrate on that will help us. And that it does help us a lot when we want to um, create something specific. So if you're having, if we're going to do a healing and we're concentrating as a light worker, if we're concentrating on a person and they're having problems, say with their neck, and we concentrate on that person's neck and their problem, what we're really doing is we're 
putting our intention out to the universe. Once again, that's another connection, right? So we're putting that information out into the universe and we're focusing intently on that. By our focusing the intention and bringing awareness to it, we can actually change things and help heal. There's been many, many cases where people have been able to heal themselves just because they went on a single practice of maybe destroying a cancer cell in their body. Now, how did they do that? They specifically, of course, I would never advocate not going to the doctor and not having procedures because I think it's one of the things that you want to do as a whole, as a whole person. Let the doctors do what they do. Let the energy healers do what they do. And you all work together for a common goal. So say, for instance, in um, what they were talking about with, with a cancer cell or a tumor in a certain place, they would concentrate and put their intention on that specific spot. Now, not just intention, but they would actually develop a scenario and their subconscious mind and their connection to spirit shows them how to actually, quote, operate on that cell. It might be a, a series of um, thinking of it as a ball and removing portions of it every day or thinking it of as a rock and you are shooting um, light that breaks it up and dissipates it. So there's many different ways that they have shown that by doing this form of meditation, which is a form of energy healing, it can actually help you and has cured cancer. Um, they're not going to act, you know, they, they go back to the doctor and they say, Hey, you know, it's gone. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely unbelievable how this works. You can't do that if you don't have a connection to the mind, body, and soul. You have to have a belief in it. You have to have a true faith that what is happening is going to happen. Remember I told you about having stress and how stress can affect your mind and your body? Having stress and then thinking that you have stress causes more stress. It's almost like a, a chain reaction that happens, right? So it, it goes back to where your what your mind is say, is telling you, um, if you think something bad will happen, it'll happen. Because it's putting a force, a negative response into play, and that's where your intentions are. So it's all it's it's one of those things you are, it is really what you're thinking is what is happening, what is manifesting that goes along with your law of attraction, right? Like attracts like. So if you think of it that way, if you think about how your body works, each cell is individual, but it works as a whole. Each cell has its own components, but works as a whole in functioning the body, in functioning the mind. Now in your heart, they have shown that it has the same cells as your mind. There's particles in the heart that connects with your mind. So you actually, um, when you are meeting somebody or when you fall in love, your heart is actually letting you know that you care about that person before that thought comes to your head. It's a connection is already there. Those cells bombard it, it shows up and it's already showing and developing a connection before you even know it. 
There's been many times where people don't really know they're in love. And then all of a sudden they'll go, Oh, I didn't know I was in love. It's all so, you know, sudden, but yet they have been feeling it all along that comes from the heart. You also know with, in, with your intentions, with your intuition, that you get that feeling right in your gut when you are about to experience something, correct? Your gut is where people say that you feel your intention, good or bad. So if something is about, you feel that something is not right and you're feeling in your gut, you're going to feel that before it comes to your head, right? You're going to feel that gut and you're going to go, oh, that's not good. I'm feeling that it's not good. Then your mind is saying, hey, that's not good. So it all works together. It can play with you and it can play against you. So you need to be mindful of that. You need to be mindful of what you're putting out to the universe. Now, it's impossible to be able to keep that form, form of thought at all times, right? I mean, our subconscious goes all the time. It's always there. Our intentions are always there as well. So I always put out and hold out intentions. So in other words, I basically am saying, okay, I'm holding in a positive intention for you. I'm going to keep that in the back of the, my mind while I'm doing other things. It's still there. It's still running. It's still working. And that's what you have to learn to do. Can it be a little daunting at times? Sure, because it's something that we're not used to. We're used to the old-fashioned way of mind is separate than, than the body body is separate than the soul because that's what we've grown up about we've we've have been in a society where it's easier to take medication um to numb your pain but in western um societies they understand that if you don't feel the pain you won't know how to combat it or how to fix it or find out the root cause. So if you're taking medication to numb pain, are you really finding out exactly the root of the problem so that you can take care of it? You're just numbing it, but the root cause is still there. Now, I understand there's times when we have to take medication um, when it gets unbearable. But when you are learning energy healing and you're learning about mind, soul, body connection, you'll start to take less and less medications because you'll learn how to hone in on using your mind and the energy in that deep meditation that I was talking about at the beginning to help you and to help heal. That's, that's exactly what I do. When, when I'm talking or when I'm helping a client, first I'm going to talk to them and I'm going to get information on what is happening. I'm going to find out if there's problems at home, if there's um, problems at work, if there's anything that is underlying. I'm also in a very um, intuitive and empath where I can feel situations that occur or feel when there's a problem. And that will help me help others. So when I go and I'm scanning somebody, which means I'm actually taking my hand and I'm going over their body and I'm trying to pinpoint problems or maybe see situations that have caused problems that is causing the stress. I can pinpoint that area and then we can discuss how to fix it. What's the best way? Is it that um, you need, there's a, 
you know, a past life that is causing problems. Because once again, when we talk about mind, body, and soul, we're talking about past lives coming in to cause problems as well. That can cause problems. It might cause problems in, a, in marriages where you constantly are not able to keep a relationship. That past relationship in another life is now manifesting itself in this one. There's a connection there, right? So we get to the cause and we get to the source and we help to clear that so that you can move forward. So when we talk about, once again, the soul and the spirit, those are separate but connected as well because your soul, your body part that we're made up of that is us, our essence, that travels from this world to the next and then back again or travels to another dimension, that soul has its connection with the spirit and that spirit connection takes you to the source. Got it? Um, somebody, yes, um, they said, do, do not... Um, I do not and will not take pen, pain meds. I have started to meditate and try to manage my pain. I'm allergic to most pain meds and the rest don't work on me. I deal with the severe pain day, every day. Yes, this is Karen. Karen is um, our mediator and moderate, moderator for our show. And, you know, Karen, I'm the exact same way. Um, I have my, my tolerance for medicine if they give me something, um, just like a plain flu shot, it's like an overdose to me. <laughs> I was 18 years old, got a flu shot, and they had to rush me to the hospital because it was an overdose, right? Um, pain medications, I don't take it unless I absolutely have to. Um, meditating and using different forms of um, energy healing has served me well over the years. And I'm a, I'm an advocate for it because I know it works. I know it works. And so I, I not only heal, but I teach how to heal. Now those pain meds, once again, is to dull the symptoms, but you need to find out the root cause and help. So that's what we're talking about. It's all connected. If you have any questions, go ahead and put some questions in here and I'll be glad to help. Um, if you are just uh, joining us, just know that Laura is not on today. She's um, she's actually having a, with a family matter. So she will join us next week. So I am here and we were, are discussing the mind-body-soul connection and how it all relates. So another part of the mind, body, soul connection that is, fascinates a lot of people is when we're talking about the Akashic Records. Akashic Records is the actual book of, um, you know, the writing of the book that they talk about in the Bible, right? This is everything that has happened to us is in the book of life. And that is what we're talking about when we talk about the Akashic Records. That is the book of life. You can actually access the book of life. And that's part of the mind-body-soul connection as well. When we talk about our vibrations and that we're all connected, we can send out an intention from our heart and our mind that we want to see and correct anything that might be in our book. Maybe there's something that we don't like in there and we are asking that um, we clear that problem. Maybe we have different um, things that we need to look at for our future. By going into your heart and your mind and having your true intention and focus into the field, and this is a field, 
you will go into the field and access that book and be able to actually look at it. It's one of the things that it's not a physical book. It's a, a field of consciousness of its own. Everything and anything is there from all times. So it's not like you're actually um, being able to flick, flip pages on a book. You're actually going there and the knowledge will be given to you. It's almost like it's downloaded to you. Feeling, emotion, a knowing, it's all part. Um, somebody says, hello, uh, do I have a gift and what is it? Well, let's find out. We can certainly, I will certainly see if I can find that out for you. All right. Go into a little meditation here. Okay, the first thing that came out for me is a healing ability. But you already know that. <laughs> you already know that you have an abil uh, healing abilities. It's at a slow pace for you, so you're starting to, um, to acknowledge it. And then you know that there are some things that are about to happen that will put you on your course. Um, I would say take it slow. Um, learn about energy healing. There's many, many, many different modalities in energy healing. And you have to find what is, what is good for you. Um, healing modalities could be energy healing. Um, you could learn Reiki. You could learn vibrational energies. Um, there's so many different ways. So take the time. And the, the best way I always tell somebody when you're investigating something or you want to look into something, start Googling it. If you put in um, energy healing modalities, see what pops up. Read information. What is it giving to you? What is that heart connection? Here we go again. What is that mind-heart connection telling you? You will feel it in your gut. You will, you will knowledge it in your head and you will have inspiration from your soul. That whole connection will help you. That's part of the mind, body, soul connection. It's just simply doing that because when you are seeking information, the answer is going to come to you. It's going to come to you in many forms, in ways that you never even thought of numbers, signs, images, um, passages. So it'll come to you, but you will acknowledge it by the way you feel. If you, anybody else has any other information or questions, please let me know and I will help you as well. All right. So um, since we are talking about... Um, manifesting your desires. So when we talk about the law of attraction, you can't have the law of attraction without having the law of vibration. The law of vibration says that once again, everything is connected and that sending out that information, that vibration, you can either meet that vibration or bring that vibration, your vibration up to meet something else because we're all connected. That's how you can actually um, be able to talk with angels, meet with um, your spirit guides, um, talk to animals, um, meditate, do all the things that you are wanting to do. You, there's an actual connection there. So when you want to manifest your desires, you're always looking at the law of attraction with the law of vibration. Like attracts like, vibration attracts vibration, and your intention is your physical energy sending it out into the universe to bring it back to you, your desires and your wants back to you. Because we're in a quantum, the quantum field is all around us. And the quantum field is what I call the matrix. And I call it my energy matrix. And 
you can't, you can't see it, but I'm sure you felt it many, many times when you are, um, meditating, which is also prayer, right? Because prayer and meditation, exactly the same. When you're holding your hands together, you're focusing and you're bringing your intention and your energy and focus here. You're sending out your true desires, not by wishful thinking, but your direct intention, your direct prayer, your direct meditation of what you are wanting. This is always for the highest good. Okay. If it's not for the highest good, it's not going to happen. It's got to be for the highest good and your strong intentions. That's sometimes a lot harder to understand because we have free will. We can make changes into the different things that we do. That's part of our mind, our intention, and our free will is from the soul connection. The universe provides us with free will. The creator provides us with free will. We can accept that our energy is being sent out and have faith an intention that what we manifest will come to pass if it is for our highest good. Is winning a million dollars for our highest good? You know, I'd love to win a million dollars, but is it for my highest good? Would love it, but is it for my highest good? See where I'm going with this? So, putting out your intention of your heart's desire, of your soul desire, using your mind and meditating and sending out that prayer to the universe, you will receive your answer. You will receive what you're supposed to have. And it might come in a different way than what you've expected. So you have to, as someone you believe, Teresa, I'm so glad you believe. Believe in your intentions and believe that what you are putting forth will come back to you. So that is what I'm here to talk about today. Your mind, body, soul connection, it all works together. So does anybody else have any questions? Otherwise, it's about um, a half an hour and I can do some readings for you. It, and if we happen to go into um, a reading, uh, it'll probably go with the mind, body, soul connection, because that's my intention for today is to bring that forth. So if you have a question um, that you would like to know, if you'd like me to pick a card for you, I'll pick a card for you today and we'll see what that connection brings forth. So let me know who wants to have a card picked for them. I have a card right now. I can tell you that somebody right now is at a crossroads. And what I'm picking up right now is there is a hesitation for the direction that you want to go. And I believe it's a, a job decision that you're planning on doing. There's a hesitation. And what I'm picking up is it's understandable that you might feel nervous or scared about taking this step, but it's for your highest good. I'm getting that you need to take a leap of faith. You need to go ahead and do it. So if this is you, just let me know. But that was the card today. All right. We got some people wanting to see some cards. Let's get going. All right, Sheila. Let me get you up here. All right, we're going to pick you a card. I'm just going to go right up the line of what I have here. I will try to get to as many people as I can. 
Okay, the top card is yours. Responsibility. Sheila, I have a responsibility card. Okay. And what I'm picking up on this card, you feel like you have, there's a, a lot of um, heaviness with, with responsibilities. Looks like you're going through a lot of things that are um, causing you to feel like it's almost like overwhelming for you. Just know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. This too shall pass. So just be mindful. Just know that it's all going to work out. Do what you have to do at this moment. And um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fine for you. I'm going to put this in the deck. Let's go to the next one. All right, Karen. All right, Karen, you're, you are next. Let's pick a card at the top for you. Oh, this one's popping up. Growth. <laughs> you have the growth card, Karen. And that's where you are. You're learning and you're growing and you're starting to feel this energy. You were talking earlier about your meditation. Absolutely. You're starting to understand that mind-body connection. You're starting to grow spiritually. That's a wonderful thing. Take it slow, but you are catching on and you're getting it. Just take it slow. It's gonna, it's working for you. All right, who's the next? All right. We have Karen Rupert. All right, Karen, let's take a look. Let's see what you got for you. I'm gonna take the top card. Abundance. I see abundance in your future, which is good, 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 right? Now, abundance not necessarily meaning finances. Abundance could be in all things. Abundance could be health, wealth, relationships. And, and I am feeling it is as relationship um, bound that there is abundance in your relationship. Um, your family unit is growing from what I see. Um, so it's, it's almost like um, your abundance, your family is growing. Um, don't know if it's a new baby that's coming into the picture or a marriage that is coming into the picture. Maybe both. <laughs> But that's what I'm getting, and that's what I'm picking up for you, abundance. All right. Candace, hello, Candace. Pick a card for you today. I'm going to pick the top card. Opening. This is a kind of a scary type of card, but let me reassure you that when I see the opening card, that is a wonderful card. That is a card to me that says that you are open to the possibilities. You are open to what's ahead of you and what is about to come. That is awesome. When I see the opening card, that tells me that you are ready, willing, and able for whatever is about to happen. And then it's time that you just relax and let it happen. So that's pretty cool. All right, Teresa, let's find your card. Okay, syn synthesis. And that tells me that everything is occurring at its proper time and in its proper course. So sometimes we feel that things might not be going as quickly as we think it should be, but in your case, it's going at the pace that it's supposed to. So even though it might seem like um, things are not happening as quickly as you want it to, realize that it is happening the way it's supposed to. 
The mind, body, and soul connection is all right there for you. So just be aware and everything is working in its proper order. Oh, that's so nice, Mindy. She says, it's absolutely amazing the knowledge you guys share with us. I've learned so much and can't thank you enough for sharing. You're welcome. I'm so glad that you are enjoying the show. That's what we do here. Laura and I try to find um, as much things as possible that we can let you know about because we've been doing this since we were like five years old, right? Both of us have been a medium at five and um, different things that we've learned on along the way, most of it because of necessity of wanting to know why we are uh, who we are, why we are given the gifts that we are given, and how we can help others because we both are brought here for a specific reason. And the specific reason is to help others. And we both know that. And that's why we've brought you this show so that we can do just that help as many people as possible. So we thank you so much. Candace said it might be me or oh, the information. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Teresa, when we said, she said, my intention this whole month has been trying to focus on all good intentions. I think I just got your card. So that's cool. Sheila, you're welcome. She said, thank you. Candace, I'm so sorry. Didn't mean to mess you. Let's see if we can get you. I'm just kind of going, your list is probably different than my list. I try to go through, or did I get, I already, um, I think I already got you. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get you another card. Just in case. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure I did, but let's, we'll, we'll pick you another card. And one card is sticking out. It might be the same card that I gave you. This, this card. If it's the same card, <laughs> you're going in the right direction. That's for sure. <laughs> I think that's the same card I gave you. It popped right out of my deck. So I'm going to say that's definitely for you. Uh, let's see. Ginger, hello. Would you like a card today? We're, gonna, we're picking cards. I'm going to pick a card for you. See what happens. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to take the top card. Order. You have the order card, Ginger. So what is this telling me? There's an order or process that you're going through. You're not liking it too much right now, whatever it is, but it is necessary to do the things that you need to do, get it out of the way, and then you can have fun doing the things that you like to do. Because it sounds like there's a lot of things that you have to be doing right now that is in the course of your day that's not too appealing, but just know that it's all going to work out. That's all going to come to fruition. Um, everything is going great. Um, oh, and Ginger? Yes, I already, I did pick a card. Hopefully you heard that message. And uh, Karen says, thank you, Clara Jo. I really appreciate it. I hope all is well with Laura's family. We're just going to keep her in our prayers. That's all I can say right now. Um, Teresa said, thank you so very much. I really enjoyed our time together every Monday night. I enjoy being here. I do. It's one of the highlights. I can't wait when I um, to start. I start probably about 5 o'clock getting ready, um, putting my intentions out, and um, making sure that my intention is anyone that needs my help at the time that we start is here for the show and gets the information that is that we're putting out for the day. So we work hard on it to make sure that we do what we can. Once again, we're of service. So that's what we're doing here. And Candace says, I am open to my spiritual and thinking to expand on it. Awesome. Awesome. 
Um, Karen says, did you do a card for me? Yes, I did. I did. And she said she did have a card, but it was a different one for Candace. All right, uh, uh, Linda, I would be happy to do a card for you. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to pick the one on the top. Laughter. You have the laughter card. And you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing you need more laughter in your life. You know, when we talk about mind, body, and soul connection, laughter is one of those things that resonates deep within our soul. So when you think about laughter, think about the loving and enjoyable things that you like to do um, that puts a smile on your face, that gives you that belly laugh. When you have that belly laugh, where does it start? Down in your gut, down in where you have all your experiences and it comes up through your heart, through your mind, and it goes out into the universe. So this card is awesome for you. So that's why take some time to experience laughter today. Holly, hello. Let's pick a card for you. Oh, just some cards here. All right, pick the first card that comes up. Okay, you got the hearth and home card. And let's see what I'm picking up for you, Holly. Ah, oh, you're feeling more nostalgic lately, more um, close to home and family. Um, Especially around the holidays as it's coming um, forth, you're, you're looking forward to reconnecting with the family um, you haven't seen in quite a while. Um, just be rest assured you'll be able to enjoy that um, with your family. Um, I'm, I'm getting that they're so excited to be seeing you. Looks like some things are going to be happening. Um, the connection um, there might be even somebody that cannot show up that you can connect. And I would say connect in a way, maybe like through Zoom or FaceTime or something like that will help you as well. Ginger said, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Ginger says, any updates on the on the Mexico trip? Are there many people signed up? I have not heard um, about how many people have signed up. Please do. I am so excited for this trip. If you have not heard, let me pop this up. We'll, um, we'll do that real quick since we have this up. I'll bring this up and share it with you on my screen. And then we'll get right back. Give me a second. Let me pop it up. Come on. This is live, so <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes it takes a little bit to get things moving. There it is. Okay, let's pop it up on my screen. We're going to share it. Here we go. Cool. We'll pop that right up. Okay. If you can see that, this is our flyer for it. And if you've not heard about this, this is going to be fun, fun, fun. Laura and I are so super excited. And I really hope that you pick up the phone, call, um, call Gretchen, get your tickets. Because what is really cool about this is that she is actually going to set up a payment plan for you so that you can make sure that you can go. So um, this it's $12.95. You get accommodations to Teo, Mexico. It's double occupancy provided um, at the Dream House, which is right behind the pyramid there in Teo, Mexico. So um, that is really cool. Um, you're going to get meals, transportation to and from the airport, daily entry into the pyramids, the plazas, um, all of the exciting places that we're going to go. Um, cost doesn't include the airfare, but it does can, um, it does give you the transportation to and from the airport. Um, 
you, it doesn't, um, doesn't pay for alcohol or tips or things like that, but for all the entry into the, the actual uh, places that we're going, that's all paid for. We're, e we're even going to be going to, um, on the departure day, we're going to go and stop by the Basella of the, of Guadalupe. It's the most visited site in the world. So that's pretty cool. So I really hope you go. This is happening April 23rd through the 29th, 2020. And if you see this gentleman right here, this gentleman, I don't know if you can see my me pointing right there for you. This gentleman right here, his name is Lee McCormick. He actually has a show on Gaia. Um, he's a producer, um, an actor, um, he does so many things. He has a show on, it's called the dreaming, um, dreaming heaven and the offer author of spirit recovery meditation journal. He is awesome. He's going to actually be our guide. He's going to have a presentation each day. And Laura and I are going to have a presentation each day. And then we go off, um, to do our exploring and checking things out. So really, really hope that you decide to go call the phone number, get tickets, um, phone number 310-663-2057. Um, it is going to be fun, fun, fun. So thank you so much for bringing that up. And as we get closer, what we'll do is we'll also make sure that um, we let you know the prices of the airfare so, so we can find some good prices. All right, let me see if I got... Where are we at? Because I got sidetracked. That happens, right? <laughs> I got sidetracked. Okay, let me find out where. Okay, so this was the Mexican trip. Okay, Holly, I think I, I think I got you already. If not, you know what? We'll pick another card just to make sure. I don't want to miss people. So we're if you get two cards, you're lucky today. <laughs> All right, compassion. You have the compassion card. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting that you are needing some you're needing that today. And I'm going to send you some healing energy your way right now. I'm going to send some healing energy, Candice. I'm going to send it your way. Sending love and light and energy. And that compassion goes to your heart. When it goes to your heart, you're also bringing it forward into your mind and sending it out into the universe. And that's what we're doing. I'm sending it your way and it's shooting in all directions. God bless. All right. All right. Linda says, thank you. The left card is the perfect card for me. Awesome. Glad you loved it. Glass. I'm so glad it um, was the right one. Mindy, I think I did, but let's pull another one then. <clears throat> I might have, but I might not have. So we'll, let's do it. This is for Mindy. Top card. Oh, you have the energy card. You have the energy card today. Mm, I'm feeling you have a little bit depleted energy, don't you? Let me see if I can find out where it's at. Okay, I'm getting some right up here. You might be having some sinus problems up here too. I'm getting that. I'm getting a feeling of right here. Um, sinuses. Opening up that um, third eye, um, it's uh, giving you a little bit of problems. So I'm going to send you some energy and help clear that out. I'm going to kind of pick some of that out. I can see like some strings in there, so that's what I'm doing. Taking oh, it's we're leaving some of that pressure already. I can feel that. <laughs> yeah. So be easy on yourself today, okay? Just be easy on yourself. As I can feel it. It's a little bit uncomfortable. 
So it's uh, Holly says, thank you. You're welcome. CC. Oh, well, let's get you some. And she says, can you read for me? Yes. Yes, yes. All right, let's pick the first card, see what we got. Okay, you have the order card as well. We picked it up for somebody else today. Um, with your order, let me see what it says. Let me pick up what's going on. Your order of things is the way it should be. Um, I'm not picking up any deviation. I'm picking up that you are following the right course at the right time. This is part of your evolution. This is what you are supposed to be doing. Right place. You are seeing numbers uh, in sequence. You're getting pictures of the right thing. Question are, are you taking notice? Are you taking notice of the signs that are coming forth? Because you are getting signs. I hope that you recognize them because they're coming there. Holly says, I needed that for sure. Oh, I'm so glad you got it. And Holly said that, and the mini is given the heart. That's awesome. Anybody else have any questions? We probably got one for one more. Maybe have one more if anybody has it. Okay. I want to thank each and every one of you for today. Um, just remember some, some last words to think about your mind, body, and soul connection is very personal. It's personal to you because we're all vibrating at a different level. We all have a vibrating, um, sensor or a vibrating fingerprint that makes us unique, makes us true to ourselves. And we need to find that and focus in on that. You are beautiful. You are special. Find your special loving colors of that vibration today. And I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye for now.